So I started doing the Jira training. Obviously, I didn't regret it. And I think that I chose the right one. And I was very happy. So, hi, Mr. Akhtar. This is Neelima from Mind Magics. And uh, today, uh, we'll be interviewing you, trying to understand your experience, learning experience with Mind Magics precisely. So, um, so let's start with how it went on, you trying to finalize a Mind Magics. But before that, let's begin to try to understand your professional experience. Okay, so I started about like 19 and a half years back. Um, I graduated from one of the universities in America. I did MBA with MIS. So after doing that, I went to Oracle programming, database programming. Started there. After some time, I thought, well, I'm in MBA. I have an MBA. Why not I try the business side? So I went to business analyst. After doing business analyst job, I moved to project management, program management. So now for almost more than eight years, I am managing programs in company. At this point of time, I'm with Citibank and uh, uh, it's pretty much like uh, almost seven years I'm working in finance, mostly financial company. So that's my more or less background. Um, I live in Minnesota, obviously. I'm in this country for a long time, more than 20 years, so pretty much anchored, right? And live with family, that's what I do. So Mr. Akhtar, why did you choose Jira as your uh, technology for training? Uh, basically, I do not use Jira myself because I have my team, I have Scrum Masters, like I might have five, six different parts. We call it parts or Jira or Ag Agile team, and I have a Scrum Master for that. So the only thing I eventually thought that why not I learn a little bit so that when they're doing it, I can understand what they're doing in case somebody is not there and if I need to help, if I can help the team, the team can be a little bit like if they will feel better, they will think that well I'm adding some value. So basically I don't have to do it, I don't do that all the time but I wanted to learn that what is the thing underneath. So with I think I can have the con like a con uh, conceptual idea and the background about it so that will give me more understanding and if they're saying there is a problem I can understand what problem they're talking about so those are the kind of things so how did it come across uh, that you chose mind magics as your training platform uh, are there any reasons that you must have definitely reviewed a lot of uh, training uh, companies? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I am, I am a, a research-oriented guy. Anything I do, I do my research in online. So nowadays, there are lots of companies, obviously. So one of the things is that I had to see the review. And when I do the review, normally I do the one which is like one star, two star, or three star. I don't care about five star. If somebody is talking good about a company, that is fantastic, no problem. What people are talking bad about the company, that is the more, pro more problem. So I saw not many kind of negative thing at all for magic, uh, mind magic. And whenever they had a little problem here and there, those are very mild. So I thought, well, comparatively, when I looked at three, four different companies, this company looked very attractive. And then I talked with a couple of people and in my search, and a couple of people actually did my mind magic training. They told me it's a good company. So I said, well, why not? I will try. So I started doing the Jira training. Obviously, I didn't regret it. And I think that I chose the right one. And I was very happy. Well, thank you so much for uh, trusting Mind Magics uh, as your uh, training partner, uh, Ms. Jaktar. Did the course, uh, how did you find the training content uh, while enrolling for this particular training? Did you, uh, were there situations where you had to get it customized? Actually, this is, this is a very important question you asked. One of the important thing that I actually give credit to Mind Magics, and it's a very, very important thing, that when I talked with them, I said, I do not need the whole thing from zero because I know certain things. I see people doing it. I can play around a little bit. So I have the background. I have some foundation knowledge. So I would like to customize so that it can meet my need. My need is not like a strong master. I am not going to set up the tip like a Jira board all the time. So I really had to customize and the person who trained me, he customized it for me, which is very, very good. 
because then he is saving his time, I am saving my time, and we are going and focusing exactly the right right things that we need to know. And he was very very nice in a way. He was very flexible. He even modified the course during the time when he found that well, I don't need this, so let us drop this. And then through discussion, I found that I need something else. Which was outside Jira. Like, how do you connect Jira and Confluence, and try to do certain things if you have to do? He showed me those kind of stuff as well. That there is something in Jira uh, where you can go and you can create certain things that can be shown in web, web Confluence, and the clients, business people, they can do some the, some some kind of entry in the Confluence, which you can bring it in the Jira and create the story, which is very very important. And that was the extremely helpful thing because many people at my level, when I talk with people, many of the people are senior vice presidents and level people, and most of them, when I talk with them, so I talk with them and I told them I have to create, we have to create a story. Then I'm going to come in Jira and create the story, right? So they, they type in something in the conference and say, "Well, I have given it to you." And then what happens is our people pull it in, and they can create the story very easy. It's a very very useful thing. And this was not in the course, so he went ahead and went extra mile and created this thing for me and showed it. So that was very. Cool. And he was also flexible in in terms of time. If we cannot do it one day, he will be always flexible. He will come the next day or the other day. Time wise, he was he was flexible, which is very important for somebody who is busy. So it is not necessary that people will have to be flexible, but if they become flexible in a little bit. That helps a little. Were there any situations during your training uh, where you wanted a little more detailed explanation, apart from your interest of topics? Were there any other topics in this particular training content which needed a little more detailed explanation, and uh, you got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. It was in, outside the actual course. We actually talked about other things as well. We talked about comprehensive way of using it. We talked about experience of people. We talked about his experience, what he has seen. People actually stumble upon, and he found these are the things which is going to be useful, because we talked about my background, and we he was a very like a patient, and he was patiently listening, and he tried to internalize that these are the problem things that we have to address. So there was discussion, obviously. It was not like a, a completely mechanical. Is coming and lecturing and saying, "Okay, thank you very much. We are done. This page is complete." No, it was very interesting. So that was. How would you assess the hands-on that you were receiving, the assignments and the hands-on? Assignments were good, very very appropriate, very to the point, and it was helpful. And um, normally he will give the assignment, I complete it, and then he will explain it. If there is any problem or any mistake, I can ask him quickly. He will explain it to me. And even after finishing it, he can tell me, "Well, you have done it in this way; it can be done in other way as well." And from there, he will branch out. So assignments were very useful, and the person who trained me, he was very, very good. That's what I say. He's very good. How would you summarize uh, your training experience with Mind Magics and rate it on a scale of one to ten? Ten being highest. I will give nine. Less is a one out of ten. <laughs> so definitely nine. Ten is the max. You cannot go beyond, so it's almost ten. Pretty, I will say almost ten. So apart from the training sessions, uh, you were also shared the uh, recorded uh, video sessions of the trainings that were conducted. Right, right. Other than the training recorded sessions, were there any other supportive materials that were shared to you to review whatever you were getting trained on? Um, obviously, other than the recording, he actually sent me the doc. Which were the assignments, and also with the assignment, he sent me some information, which is like steps. So those are the uh, background information in how to complete this task. So those those came as a document. So that document was very useful. I kept them. How would you apply the practical knowledge that you've gained during this training to your professional work? It is it is getting used. I mean, as I said, I do not use it. On a daily basis, but actually, you know, the, the small things sometimes is very, very important. Like when I talked about this thing, that somebody can create 
um, somebody can write the story, a draft story in confluence, and we can pull it in. That was a very useful thing. And people get impressed. Many people normally do not know, at least senior level people, they do not know, many of them. They don't have any idea about Jira and all these things, right? So they get very excited. Then when I'm talking and I'm finding any problem in the team is not able to do certain things, I can tell them that, well, you have to do this, this, this. You might have to go and create this thing in the background, create a new copy of this and change it, edit it, like a, like a format change or something like that. This kind of stuff. Some, sometimes urgently you need to add somebody in your team. And a senior person is saying, well, I have two people. We have to give them permission to go at, to Jira and look at the story. Nobody is around and we have to do it very quickly if the person is very senior. Then I can jump in and I can add him. So those kind of stuffs are very good. So it is useful, obviously, in a small, small things, but that counts very high certain time, at certain time. So I, I feel that is very useful. We are glad that the uh, Jira training that you've taken through Mind Magics has added a lot of flexibility to you. Yeah, right. right. So flexibility, empowerment, both. Okay. So um, would you like to refer Mind Magics to any of your colleagues? Oh, that... Yeah, absolutely. I did. I actually did. I took the second one, um, which I didn't have to. I, I didn't do anything with that that much. But there were three people, my friends. And they were actually very interested. And one person already had the background. So I actually enrolled in Tableau training and I brought all these four people. So my group was four people in group. And I convinced them to come to Mind Magics because I told them that this is a good company. They have flexibility and the training is good and all these things. Price wise, it is very reasonable and competitive. So yeah, I did. That's it from our side, uh, Mr. Akhtar. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Absolutely. I play it.